Hello folks. So in that last video I showed a very good demonstration of using bridge when you're doing a fill to satin. What I didn't cover very well was the why and the when. When do you need to use it? So I'm going to do that in this video. I'm going to create a line here and I'm going to set that line. It's a fill and I want it to be a fill. So I can't use that. Let me try again. Delete. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Now we know for sure this is a fill. Get rid of that stroke. There's fill only. So this is a fill. And on the single object fill, all you have to do is draw a couple of rungs, select everything involved, and let me go to this. Fill to satin and hit apply. It's going to make our, our satin stitch nice and easy. Easy peasy. Undo and undo those lines. Now, I'm going to take that same fill. I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to spin one of those. Now, this looks like a single object, but it's not. As you can see, I have two separate objects. Let's go ahead and throw in some rails. This does not need a bridge because these are two separate objects. And since they are two separate objects, they will fill to satin absolutely easy peasy. Just like that. Now you do have an overlap of satin which I don't necessarily recommend but sometimes you need to do that it's all good okay let's undo that undo my rails okay when do you need to use a fill uh, go ahead and path object to path so I can do this and I can do this now I'm going to take this one I'm going to take this one. I'm going to duplicate that again and I'm going to put it right here. Right here. Like an L, part of a T, whatever. And you know what? Since we're talking about a T, let's go ahead and make a T. And there's our T. So again, these are all separate objects. No need to do a bridge. So when would you need to do a bridge? If this design was a single object, and there's a couple ways to go about that. The first one being, if I take all of this and I go path, union. Now it's a single object. One single object. As you can see there in the layers, it's one object. There's another way, I'm gonna undo that. Get all of my layers back, so there's all my layers feel like we're missing one. Okay, they're all there. So now we're back to single layers. When, when is another case scenario? I'm going to export this as a PNG. I'm sure that works. Let's clear that out. Let's import that PNG. Uh, here and here, yes. Hit OK. So now you have a PNG or some image, JPG, doesn't matter. And you're going to do a trace, bit map, a trace bitmap. So as you can see, trace bitmap, I'm going to go multicolor, colors or grays, grays work. And I'm going to hit apply. Now let's get rid of the imported image. Delete. So now I have, okay, those are all unnecessary images unnecessary bits okay some of that was the background some unnecessary bits so when we if if we get if we delete everything and the only thing we're left with I, it's doing that because I did a multi multicolor by the way so if I get rid of all of these um, delete I am left with one single path 
of the object. These are all one single path. This is one object, I mean. This is when you need to use your bridge. I'm going to go into fill, select the object, go into fill. I'm going to set that opacity down so we can see what we're doing. So this is the when that you would need to use a bridge. If you're going to turn this all into a satin stitch, this is when you will need to do a bridge. Now let's talk about why. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this out. I'm going to do my rails. I'm going to do all my rails and not do any bridge. And I usually like to put three. This two has thrown me off on a couple occasions. And we'll get to the Y in just a moment. Okay, so here's going to be a demonstration of the Y. So I'm going to select everything and I'm going to go fill to satin. Hit apply. Close. And now you can see that a whole lot of my piece is missing. A whole lot of this is missing right here and right here. This one actually didn't do bad, but I don't particularly like it. But that part didn't do terrible. So if we go in here and we select the whole thing. And we do a, a simulate. Uh, right here. Simulate. You can see that a whole lot of my artistic treasure is missing. And I don't like this really hard corner down here either. So we're going to fix that with bridging. So the reason the why you need to do bridging is because when you have overlaps, you have the fill color going, the fill column going both directions. Ink Stitch uses. Um, Path, Pathfinder. Ink Stitch uses Pathfinder to figure out the path of making what it's going to make. And when it gets to here, well, this path could go and this path could go, and it doesn't know which one you want to keep. So when you create a bridge, you're explaining to Ink Stitch, this is the one I want to keep. Okay, let's get out of that. Let's go ahead and undo. I'm going to go right, I'm going to pick up right here, right where I left off. And we're going to select where we want to keep. I'm actually going to move this one down. And I'm going to put another one right here. And we're going to bridge that. We're going to bridge this, these two rungs. I hope I said rungs the right way all this time. I don't know that I did. But, and then we're going to bridge this rung to tell Ink Stitch we want to keep this run of satin column. And you can get rid of this one above. I want to keep this rung of satin column and get rid of this one. So, the way we tell Ink Stitch to do that is we create a bridge. I'm going to bridge from here to here. And that tells Ink Stitch I want to keep this section of satin column. And you can go ahead and lose this section of that pathfinding. Same thing here. I want to keep, and, it, and if you wanted to keep this one, you would bridge this direction. But I want to keep this one, so I'm going to bridge in this direction. And we get down here, I want to tell it to make a bridge and cut this off. So we're going to make a bridge right here. And you could, you could also draw another rung over here and bridge it that way. So that is the why we create bridges. To tell Ink Stitch, this is the part we want to keep. Go ahead and get rid of the other part. So having done all that, I can select everything once again. And 
I don't know if it matters, but I'm going to move that out of the group so that everything's right here all together. So I'm going to tell Ink Stitch to do a fill the satin again. I've already explained to Ink Stitch which parts I want to keep and which parts I want to remove by bridging. So let's do it. Hit apply. Hit close. I think my corner didn't didn't cut, but that's okay. My corner didn't cut. I can deal with that, but everything else is right, except it needs to be extended. I'm going to grab, grab my nodes tool. I'm going to select that one. I'm going to grab these two nodes and pull that up so that it overlaps a little bit. Overlaps that one. Same thing here. I'm going to grab these two nodes. Pull them over. Same thing here. Grab these two nodes. Pull them over. And now I'm going to have, except for this corner, I'm going to have a pretty satin. I'm going to show you, since this didn't cut out, that's fine. I'm going to show you how to... Um, what do I call that? Turning in advance is one way that I... I'm going to make it turn in advance so it doesn't have a really hard turn. And I'll show you that in just a minute. But for now, let's see what this looks like. Shall we? Satin, uh, go to Ink Stitch. Let's do a sim. Okay, there it is. I mean, it's, it's all there now. And you can see that after telling it, I want to keep this top section by bridging, and I wanted to keep this section by bridging, you can see that Ink Stitch followed my commands and did it that way. And last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm talking about on turning in advance. Oh, wrong one. Let me get it closer. Okay, I want that one. So I'm going to want that one. And I'm going to want that one. Nope, wrong way. Turn it this way. So this is going to ease into that turn. Just a little bit gentler, a little more gentle. And then I'll slowly start straightening those out and they'll be much better. So let's see what that little turn in advance did for us. Select everything, extensions, ink stitch, visualize, simulate. Much better. Oh man, that's actually much better. Now, last but not least, we can actually do a auto route and tools satin auto route satin, auto route satin columns. Hit close and let's see what our auto route looks like. Extensions ink stitch. It shouldn't jump around so much. Still jumped around quite a bit, I guess. That's, that's a little weird. It shouldn't do that. I'm not sure why it's doing that exactly. It shouldn't be starting with this one and then jumping ship over to this one. But I'm not sure. The good thing is the jump, if there's a jump stitch, it's actually going to be covered up by this column. So it's not going to hurt anything. It's just a little weird. But anyway, I hope that explains the how and the why. Uh, at least a little bit, but hopefully a whole lot better than I did in that last video, I, I hope. And other than that, if I forgot something, please, please comment below this video. Send me an email, whatever you need to do. I will try to address whatever I missed, but hopefully that explains it a whole lot better than I did in that last one. And... If you made it this far, please like and subscribe. It makes me happy. And I'm closing in on 10K subscribers. And once I hit 10K subscribers, I will also be very happy. But anyway, that's all for this video. So until next time, thanks for watching.